Benoit Sokal is probably best known as the comic strip creator who created the Inspector Canardo character. However, for the past few years he's been involved in the video game industry. A very hands-on involvement in the video game industry and on the PlayStation 1 he brought us the, the very intriguing game Lamerzone, which won very many awards but was given the rubber ear by British magazines in traditional fashion. Now, for the uninitiated, Siberia games are all about exploration. They're all about the manipulation of fantastically designed machinery. No in a mist fashion, no in that boring turn a wheel, make some steam come out a pipe kind of style, but in a very, a very playful, very childlike sense. You are filled with wonder, as is like a child looking upon the corpse of a man. Siberia 2 begins abruptly with your Kate Walker character beginning a strange journey into the world that SoCal has created. The option to watch a recap of the first game is absolutely Hello. essential if you have any plans of knowing why you're doing what you're doing. Of course, you should probably just play the first game, as good as it is. A point-and-click adventure game at heart, Siberia 2 thankfully doesn't expect you to solve many problems of the bizarrely illogical combined plastic cactus with baby's nappy variety. All the minor puzzles are simplistic and logical, while the more confusing quandaries usually involve tinkering with gloriously realised machinery and fancy wee automatons that make me want to use the word delightful for the first time in my life. Negative points are few if you're a fan of the slow-paced, thoughtful adventure game, but if your point-and-click tastes lean more towards the Grim Fandango, Sam and Max, Day of the Tentacle type of thing, then you might want to stay away. But if you have a little patience and appreciate the charm that an artist can bring to video games, get your winter gear on. Siberia 2 is out now in the UK. Ah. She's nice. Oh, she spotted a delf. All broken sword. Old PlayStation, get it out, turn it on. Your old PC, turn it on. Slap in the old broken sword. Don't do what I did. Don't make the mistake of getting the Game Boy Advance version because it's got a crippling bug in it that will destroy your game progress. That's unforgivable. And I love the thought of playing point and click adventure games on a handheld. Hmm. Of course, if you've got the game park, all GP32 and a scum emulator, you can play a lot of great point-and-click games, and I'm pretty sure we'll be covering the game park in a later episode.